Hi, and welcome to episode 5 of Creating a Weebly Website. Um, in this episode, we are going to look at all the different form options um, that Weebly has. Um, namely, we're going to look at um, surveys and um, RSVPs. Um, and there is a, a contact form um, that we will look at in a, another video um, later on. Um, in this series, um, but we're going to mainly, like I said, we're going to look at survey and also RSVP for this particular episode. So let's go ahead and create a new page, and I'm going to come up to the top for pages. I'm going to add a page. I'm going to call this survey slash RSVPs. I'm going to my advanced settings, survey slash RSVPs. I'm going to skip all the rest of this just for time's sake. And save settings. And we'll go ahead and click on the, the link for survey and RSVPs. Um, let's go ahead and change our graphic real quick. Come back to my header photos. And bring up this photo that I have here for uh, the survey and RSVP page. It's still uploading. Take just a second here. Okay, uh, my photograph has rendered and is ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and do some adjusting here. I'm going to slide this over a bit. Uh, this is my friend. So he, I don't know if he knows that his picture is being used on this, but this is one of his famous teacher looks. So. We're going to get that positioned, and I'm going to change my title to Survey and RSVP. Click OK there, and go ahead and save only to this page. All right, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add something real quick to this. I'm going to add another text field. I'm going to put a reminder over here in this text field and I'm going to call it be sure to fill in all the blanks because it kind of looks like that's what he's kind of saying there when he's looking at you and now I'm going to go ahead and save that only to this page Okay, now we're good to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my two column layout because we're going to do a survey over here and RSVP over here. Um, to find those elements, you come up here to the top of the editor panel and click more and click forms. And here's the contact form, which, like I said, we're going to create a separate page for that in another video. So we'll come back to that later. Um, but let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and drag the survey down drop it into the first column and then I'm going to drag the RSVP form into the second column. Okay. Um, now, if you want to make any changes um, to uh, the survey, like for instance you want to add something, if you click into the survey you notice that your form fields panel up here in the elements area changes automatically to give you some other options. So if you wanted to add another yes, no, multiple choice type buttons, you can certainly do that. You can do a drop box, um, drop down box, a check boxes, um, even a file upload. But remember the file upload here um, is actually for the pro version. So if you're actually paying for a Weebly, you'd be able to take advantage of that. If not, uh, no can do. Um, so there's some other things you can have here. You can also click more. You can add a name field, email address, an address field, and also a phone number. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change this to survey example for the title text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep these questions the way they are, okay, um, just to save time. Now, you might be thinking, well, where does all the information go once it's been submitted by a visitor? Um, if you have editing rights to the website, you will be able to um, click 
on view entries and it will create a separate window that will pop up and you'll see a spreadsheet of data that will appear here in the window. Okay, um, So if you don't believe me, create a Weebly and uh, have some people submit to it so you can see for yourself. Um, you can also, if you go ahead and submit um, information to our website, um, our sample uh, Weebly site, and I can actually, um, if you email me, um, I will be glad to uh, email you a uh, copy of what some of the information looks like um, when you actually view it on the web page. Um, so, okay, so I'm done editing the survey. I'm going to click close. I'm going to come over here and click into the RSVP example. Which I'm going to go ahead and title that. And of course, it has the same option, view entries, which would give you all the the people that have submitted um, RSVPs to you. Um, let's see. What could we possibly add in here? Let's see. Do we want to add in, you know, let's add in telephone number as another piece of contact information. And voila, it, fill, it fills it in there for you. You didn't even have to type phone number. Um, if you want to, you can also add address if you wanted to, but you don't have to. We're going to go ahead and click close. And that pretty much finishes up our example page for surveys and RSVPs. Um, to finish, we need to save this by clicking the publish button. It's publishing. And I'm going to come up to my tab and I'm going to refresh my Weebly site. To check it out, there's surveys and RSVPs. I click it, and I see my page looks great. Great once again. Um, the phone number section that I had here on my RSVP example um, did show up, so everything is there and ready to go. So visitors can start submitting information to my Weebly site. Um, so this concludes this tutorial. Um, for other great tips and resources, please be sure to visit the ICAS website. Um, also, you can visit us on YouTube on our uh, EVSC ICATS YouTube channel.